जैसी करनी वैसे भरनी जैसी करनी वैसी भरनी दैट इज वन ऑफ द वेज दैट दिस एक्सप्लेन राइट एंड दे ऑल्सो सी नथिंग हैपन्स विदाउट अ रीजन बट डू वी फाइंड अ रीजन इट्स द रीजन मैक नॉट बी सीन इन दिस बर्थ देर आर प्रीवियस बर्थ दैट वी हैव फॉल्टर्ड इन सो मेनी वेज और इवन पुण्य या तो पाप दोनों भी कमाया ही है तो वो सामने आता ही है तो है तो हमारी करनी तो हाउ डू वी करेक्ट दीज परसेप्शन एंड बिलीफ सिस्टम्स बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट अ कॉग्नेटिव माइंड कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड वर्क वी नीड टू सरेंडर टू द डिवाइन वी नीड टू बी हैव दैट रिपेंटेंस दैट यस इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ मी एंड आई नीड टू आस्क फॉर फैकनेस टू द डिवाइन एंड आई लव यू is the powerful process for healing i love you is such a is such a beautiful feeling that heals everything everything but are we genuinely saying it we don't mean it because we have lot of lot of hurt lot of layers so <clears throat> we go through a lot of other modalities of healing like eft actualization manifestation and what not we all know but do these healing processes really help or really work without any exceptions the reason is that they are also called as toys but these things these healing modalities they help us feel that if we are in charge of whatever we achieve or do but that's not true it is not us who are in charge because whatever miracles that we experience is when we let go of the toys we trust in the place inside of ourselves where there is zero limit and where there is divinity that guides us and hope uno puno is a sure sure process for that because our mind it has very limited thought process we will understand that further <clears throat> so there are three stages of life in the beginning there are we play the victim role as we advance we become the creator of our life and we feel that we are the con- we are controlling our life and in the end if we are lucky we will understand that we are sure the service of the divine that is the spiritual awakening that i'm talking about zero limits is returning to the z- to the zero state wherein the slate is clear completely of the mess created in our past in this zero state nothing exists but imagine imagine the magnificence of things that can be possible creating in this zero state so what is self identity this was what was created for example the mind like take, it's your identity this mind connected and a appeal to the divine the love which will request to neutralize all the negative emotions within when we request the divine to neutralize all the negative emotions there is a void created and this void this love fills up the void and makes it only love so what does self identity teach us <clears throat> it teaches us like who we are how we can solve problem moment to moment how we can renew and restore in love how to take care of ourselves how to take 100% responsibility of ourselves and then others and to appreciate the miracles of love when our subconscious that is the child the conscious the mother the super conscious mind the father when all these three are in alignment rhythmic divine then maintain my balance and there is a divine flow it's only then that infinity 
is experienced. <clears throat> what are the two ways that we live a life? Memory, thinking. We keep thinking. How much, how, how much do you think we are successful just by thinking? Because it's a non-stop thing, right? Do we really control our mind and our memories? They constantly replay. They constantly replay. And we repeat everything that we have gone through. But do we know what is inspiration? Do we know? Are we really even allowing that inspiration to flow within us? What is this? The divine gives us messages. Moment we reach the zero limits. These messages that we receive, we need to receive, we need to act and experience the miracle. There are moments in that zero limits that we get that guidance. We get that, it's, it can be just like a glance of guidance, but are we alert enough to catch hold of that and work towards it? That is miracle. How do we look at problems? <clears throat> Problems are not just mere ordeals, but they are opportunities. They are the replayed memories of the past. But when we go through the problems, we are given a chance to see with the eyes of love, which we had not done before because we were busy doing the blame game or self-sabotaging. When we do so, we act from inspiration. And it is always said that it is always about me and never about others. This shows the mirror of ourself. Whatever problems that you go through in life, you can do it right away. Everybody, take a minute, take a minute and let that problem surface in your mind, which is very actively bothering you. Be it the person, be it the situation, be it some achievement, be it finance, wealth, whatever, love, whatever it is. And ask yourself, what is going on within me that I have caused this problem? And how can I rectify the problem within me? Are we really able to dislodge our logical mind from the other person or the situation and coming towards self where we must have faltered? If not, force yourself a bit that is, the answers are always lying within us. Ask yourself again, what is going on within me that I have caused this problem and how can I rectify the problem within me? If we intend to, we will find the answers because the divine will flow through us if we surrender to the divine. <clears throat> But what is the truth of intentions that we put every day? <clears throat> intentions are clear premonitions. It comes from the subconscious first and then it enters the conscious awareness. The choices are made when it comes to the conscious and we take the ownership of it. But we feel it is we who have done it. Intentions are limitations. The only intention that needs to be there is to come to zero. Intention is to honor the intention of the divine because this flow is massive that our brains cannot perceive. So the summary of the whole of this book, which seems like a repetition, but it is more of an emphasis of we get to choose, but the divine decides. We, do, we never decide. It's always the divine that decides. It is the purification of energies. Because the we do not change the situation or the person or anything. But when we have gone through something, our energies may become negative. And these negative energies are purified. And that creates a void. That is the zero limit. So cleaning is the process of repentance, forgiveness, and transmutation, because 
the moment the cleaning is done, the love, the divine transmutes or it covers the whole of this negative energy into positive energy that is love. One deals with the feelings one experiences. Ask yourself, are you all in touch with your feelings? This is something that I've seen scanty, really deficient in people around me. I at least, I think that's my responsibility again, as the awareness says, but ask yourself, am I really in touch of feelings or am I running away from my feelings or am I suppressing my feelings or am I overreacting of my feelings? Am I true to my feelings? Is it that I'm a people pleaser? Ask yourself, it is only when we have clarity of what or understanding towards the feeling of ourselves that we can bring about changes. Recognizing the feeling and all your responsibility is to clean, clean and clean day in and day out. The key is to love everything. It's so hard to love something which is not of my choice. Agreeing to life is a greater secret of happiness than controlling your life. Unlearning is toughest. It's the toughest. I can, I'll give you the example later. But introspect in your life. Are you really controlling your life? Directing your life? Or are you the servant of the divine? All it says, continuously clean. Take actions on the ideas and opportunities that come your way. Continuously clean. Inspiration is more important than intention. But uh, do we silence our mind for the inspiration to enter our mind? <clears throat> do we intend to surrender to that divine? so that the inspiration flows. It's not a fast food, it takes time. There was an example given that for a weight loss. You do intend to lose weight, but when you put an intention, there are a lot of, there's a lot of chaos. Oh, you know what? Last time, oh, if I have sugar, it's gonna create problem. If I have this, because you must have gone through it in your past experiences, but you are ripped repeating it or replaying it in your mind. So there's always a hindrance or an obstacle when you are just intending. But when you intend for a weight loss, but you intend or you request to the divine to work on your weight, it will definitely help you in inspiring you to lose weight in a way which resonates with you and there is no procrastination and there are sure short results. Think about all the goals that you want to achieve. These can be beautiful ways wherein you can achieve. That's the prayer again. I'm sorry. And they are requesting to the divine. Please forgive me. I thank you. And I love you. Thank you, everyone. And um, ready for questions. <clears throat> Thank you, Trishla. Uh, questions, if any, are welcome. Thank you, Trishla. Really, really, thanks a lot. The message of the divine really stuck with me. I think uh, that's my takeaway. Um, and what also really stuck with me was uh, when you in the starting you in the starting part you said that um, are you in your divine state? Uh, state management is genuinely very important. Uh, which leads, uh, which which makes me think of calibration. Do I calibrate myself if I am in a divine state, if I am in a crash state, or if I am in a coach state? If I am in a crash state, then let me breathe, get composed, and then let me go ahead. And if I am in a coach state, that means I am in a good space. Thank you very I, much for. So so it, the experience that I had was I'm not good with technical aspects that's not where I operate much and <clears throat> last night I started making presentation and I really struggled I went through all the chaos in my mind and my heart and I was like oh my god why did I commit what if I forget 
can i cancel it anike can you please search for another speaker what the hell was i were you do were you thinking thrush la you have not read since ages and you think you're going to cover all the points and everything so i had all the chaos as the mind is accustomed to to fill it up you know and you know somehow there was this um, inspiration which meant which said no thrush go for it and i came in touch with my friend who taught me how to do this he just gave me and uh, how, like how to make and he just left it i thought hello you will make the slides for me and he said no you make it tell me how to and i like why can't why do you leave me alone like this and somehow the sickness the inspiration and the opportunity and this may not be the best or you know but in my experience it was a great learning curve for me it is as simple as that your story is your reality nobody can feel it as intensely as you but how do you value your reality is in your hands how you make your reality is in your hands so yes this is my journey this is my experience the path is simple but surrendering is difficult yaar how can i not have control how can i not मैंने तो सोचा था बहुत कुछ सोचा था बस यही करना है यही अचीव करना है बट माई लिमिटेड कॉग्नेशन डज नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट द डिवाइन माइट हैव अ लार्जर पिक्चर फॉर मी कैन आई ट्रस्ट द डिवाइन मैं एक्चुअली कुछ कर ही नहीं रही जो इंस्पिरेशन आ रहा है वो डिवाइन ही चला था सो मैं कब सुधरूंगी कब दिमाग को शांत रखूंगी या कब मैं इंस्पिरेशन को फ्लो होने दूंगी दैट्स ओनली व्हेन आई एम टी माई सेल्फ फॉर ऑल द बर्ड इन दैट आई हैव कैरीड सो फार बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ इट इज नॉट माइंड इट वाज शेयर्ड इट वाज हर्ड इट वाज आई वाज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय सो मेनी पीपल व्हाट डू वी चूज टूडे इज इज वॉट मैटर्स विथ अवेयरनेस are we going into the old rut or are we back in the present because we need to come in the present to bring that little change in our life which will actually be a magnificent change in our way so yeah trust your journey and see how you can make your miracles happen uh thank you thank you dishla questions if any Maybe uh i don't have a question i i don't have a question but um i must thank dishla for a lovely presentation so clear so precise to the point and um uh inspires me to read this book definitely thank you thank you, thank you so much you know you know the chattering in my mind oh my god trishla you're just done in like 15 20 minutes what are you doing you had to talk for like 45 minutes i'm like okay trish it's okay you, you know that chattering but thank you your sponsorship was so much needed that i breathe yes i love my i love myself i love myself <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much for that sponsorship thank you all right uh, so if there are no other questions i got uh, i have to announce the next week speaker so here is our next week speaker uh, next week we are going to speak about a problem which uh, all of us go through but we tend to ignore this problem aaj nahi yaar kal karenge kal nahi yaar parso karenge thoda 10 minute aur zyada so ja so leta hu fir 10 minute ka aadha ghanta 1 ghanta ho jata hai and then we repeat uh <laughs> elisha calls herself as uh, a recovering a recovering serious procrastinator okay and uh, she has become a pro at it let's uh, let's hear it from her uh, next week how to become a pro at not procrastinating right uh, she is a psychologist and i need not add more to it it's going to be fun it's going to be amazing and we are 
we are definitely going to take a lot of value home. And then from that moment onwards, we are not going to procrastinate on our goals. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really. Thanks a lot. Uh, it was amazing to have you over here. I'm really enjoying this journey and uh, glad to have you over here. Uh, see you next Thursday. Good night and have a wonderful week. Bye, everybody. The core Anikita. team stays. Other, others can disperse. Yes, ma'am. Good night. Anikita, Good night. I... Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Yeah. What's I got a anyone? question for Trishila, if I can ask. Hanji, yes. please. Yeah, yeah. Trishila, I, I mean, not specifically for you, but I just want, I was just a little keen about uh, that uh, experiment with the criminals. Um, so I wanted to know how was the change um, seen in the criminals, you know, like so, what, what so, was the measure or uh, did they report any change? I mean, yes, what... yes. So, so what happened was um, the criminals were so harsh that they had to be chained. They okay. used to destroy create a lot of destruction to that extent that the doctors as well as the ward boys and the sisters they did not want to be around they did not want to serve because of course the energies are so high it is so intense that they would just they would just opt for some transfers or something like that so when dr hewlin got to know about it and he said that i will not meet the criminals but I would want to look at the files. <clears throat> that was very weird because nobody treated anybody like that. So when he looked at the uh, reports, like the whatever they had gone through, what he observed was not exactly what was written, but while, while reading it, what was he feeling within him, himself? So he's, he connected to his feelings because whatever what it is said that whatever you come across, is something which is in your records. So because they, it's a mirror reflection, right? So if it is in my records, can I request the divine? Can I pray to the divine? Please forgive me, I'm sorry. I thank you and I love you. Because it's not about the content, it's always about the context that Anil says, but these are the prayer which would in a way bag everything, remove to remove the burden. So while he did that, he, the changes that happened was the criminals sobered up. They were not as reactive as they were. They were more receptive. They were more understanding to the therapies and they became more loving. But this could not have happened without Dr. Hugh Lin's commitment that their problem is my 100% responsibility. Because we feel, what is the problem I do? It's not that attitude, but there were changes and it was no more as what it used to be. That was what was mentioned. It is sheer prayer with the belief system, with the perception that whatever is outside is within me. In my cognitive mind probably... <laughs> Or the analytical mind. So my my thing is, I also wanted to know: Did the criminals know that this was being done? Perhaps few might have known later because he, I guess, he did pay a visit to them later on. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I was sick and I was reading the book, so I'm sure I must have forgotten few lines and uh, some um, storylines. But I just <laughs> took some cracks of it. No, no, this is not to question you. I mean, please don't. <clears throat> otherwise, it is not to question you. I'm just very curious about uh, how did this work? And uh, I just want to take away the chance factor or the effect factor in terms of maybe they knew. So there's a, you know, uh, 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 an effect of, okay, somebody is doing something about, uh, you know, taking care of me or my emotions or my things. So maybe that affected or that. No, it, it definitely didn't start that way. They had yeah. no clue. That was for sure that they did not know in the beginning. In the beginning. At all. No, they did not. In fact, and was there any, sorry, and was there any pre and post? Uh, uh, okay, pre and post to tha, but the cause is something which I was wondering. How come it was uh, because of this only? So the cause was when the Dr. Hewlin took the responsibility, like, because it's like, you know what, if you talk to me and if you talk about your problems, or if my patients talk about their problems. So 
the thought that we generally have that this is his problem it's not my problem right when they when we also say like it's not my monkey not my circus but is that true so hope uno pino does not say it's not my monkey not my circus if you are my monkey you are also my circus only so so what happens is when it's it's if, if it's my patients i i need to go back to my records whatever they have gone through and i'm wondering oh my god doctors have gone through psychologists have gone through a lot of things and of course a lot of people so it is through my programs and my programs there have been belief systems and perceptions that has been negative which is coming in front of me in the form of the other person going through that problem so my duty is to not treat the other person but turn around look at my programs take an eraser and just you know but that is through this prayer of neutralizing the negative emotions to positive yes. emotions so i this i totally resonate with this that you know whatever problem is coming up is probably for me to learn something about myself yeah and uh, of course my my client uh, my problem <laughs> you know <laughs> the only thing that's really puzzling me or is really surprising me i'm i'm again it's not like a negative thing but i'm really pu- very puzzled about it that how come this is affecting me and i am changing is what is i'm it's kind of uh, understanding me. it's only but through my understanding that uh, yeah but i'm not understanding or it's difficult for me to probably comprehend ki how was it affecting them without they knowing anything or touching uh, uh, learning about it later and so, still things uh, were working. that's what's okay. puzzling it's again not a question i probably need to learn more about it too no i whatever little experience that i have had i mean i would say in my do you know the word maitri <clears throat> kisi ko maitri dena ya to best wishes right we 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 do it telepathically sometimes we don't say it aloud right so mm-hmm. so as a vipassana meditator in our uh, so when we meditate so what guruji says is when you are done with the meditation right so pehle aap maitri khud mein bharo aap khud ko do maitri is love so with the body sensation you first give love to yourself once you are so once you are filled with love then you give love to others so that's why these uh, places where there is uh, where meditation is done quite regularly you will see the vibe is very different you will see the plants they are so fresh you know so ye maitri wo tarang hi to hai vibrations hi to hai to wo maitri is the way that uh, dr hulen has treated the criminals maybe we are unable to perceive or you know cognitive because yaar 100% commitment hai mera to pehle dekh lo yaar tera kyu main boja uthau it is like that yeah more than that uh, yeah ki but like you said maybe vibrations and uh, that is okay thank you yeah. so much for your time and uh, i hope uh, you're not taking it otherwise not at all in fact i'm so happy that you know somewhere i feel that uh, my faith is come is strengthening and thank you thank you for bringing it to the field thank you so much okay so if there are no other questions then uh, thank you very much everyone good night to all of you have a fantastic week coming ahead and uh, we'll see you next thursday right thank good you. night thank you Nepal. everyone thank you right. scars of you we are thank you